Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. If you're doing game development, sooner or later, you're going to run into a situation where you have a problem in your code and you need to figure out what that problem is so you can fix it. Uh, recently, one of my viewers was posting some messages on my Discord server. He was running into some issues with his uh, 3D space shooter game that he's doing following my tutorial. And I did some back and forth with him on Discord, trying to help him diagnose the problem. And finally, I asked him if he knew how to attach the debugger and set breakpoints. And he said he didn't. And I thought, well, that's probably pretty common for a lot of new game developers that don't have experience with this. So I thought that's a very important skill that warrants a new video to teach how simple it is to attach the debugger and use it to diagnose issues in your code. So I'm going to switch over here. I've got my 3D space shooter tutorial here, uh, and I have introduced a couple of bugs into this. So if I hit play, you'll notice I'm not going to be able to move around and fire. So I've got my controller here and I am moving the stick and I can't y'all pitch roll thrust or anything. I can fire. So that's working, but I'm unable to move. And if you notice down here in the console, I am getting a bunch of errors. They're just piling up down there in the console. Now, the first thing you want to do if you get an error is click on the error. And right here, it tells you what line in the code the error is happening on. If you click that, it will actually take you to the offending line in your code. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And I have set here, I'm using JetBrains Rider, by the way, but I will also later in the video show you how you can do the same thing using Visual Studio Code. Uh, but in this case, I have JetBrains Rider configured to attach to the Uni Unity Editor and play. Other options are just attached to the Unity Editor or just start Unity. Uh, I want to do attach to the Unity Editor and play. So all I have to do is click this debug button and it will actually build and run my game with Rider attached so I can debug the game. So here you said it starts running and immediately it hit my breakpoint here. So a breakpoint is a place where it will stop executing so you can look at what's going on in your code and you can actually hover over variables and see what their values are. So you can see here, my ship movement controls variable is null. Another thing I could do here is I could right click and I could tell it that I want to add this to watches. So down here, you see this add to watches. So now down in this window here, I've got this watch. So I can keep executing. I could hit F5 and let this go uh, until it hits another breakpoint. And then I will always see the current value of this variable down here in my watch window, as long as it's in scope. So at any rate, I now know that this variable is null and I'm trying to dereference it to access this thrust amount, which ends up with a null reference exception being thrown. So I can look at this and I can hit F12 to go to the definition and I can see this is just a private member on my ship engine class. And if I want to find out everywhere this is used, I could right click and say show usages or find usages. And here I can see the only place that it's assigned is right here. So I'll double click that and it's being assigned in this init method. So let me put a breakpoint here in my init method. I'm going to just stop playing. And then I'm going to click debug again. So we're starting over. And now I've hit this breakpoint in my init method. And you can see that the movement controls being passed in are null. Well, the other thing you can look at is your call stack. So the call stack basically shows you what functions are calling other functions. So this function here, init is being called from my ship controller start function. And so my ship controller is looping through all my engines. It's calling init on that engine and it's passing in this movement input, but this movement input is null. So let's hit F12 and you can see, okay, well movement input is just an expression body method that's returning my movement controls. Well, where is that defined? Oh, well movement controls is a serialized field. That means I'm expecting this to be assigned in the inspector. 
So let's go ahead and stop playing again. We're going to jump out into Unity. And I want to look at my player ship. And sure enough, on my ship controller, movement controls is not assigned. So I can just drop down here. I've got my, uh, let me collapse this here. I've got this player controls object and I've got my different movement controls. I've got my desktop movement controls and my gamepad movement controls. I want to use gamepad. So let's just drag that right into there. I'm going to go back out into Rider and I'm going to click debug again. And I come to my breakpoint, and now movement controls has a value. It's no longer null. So I'll get rid of that breakpoint and I'll hit F5 to run. Here I am in my thrusters enable method, and I look, and yay, ship movement controls is no longer null. So I'm going to hit F5 and let it go. And uh oh, I've got another error. It's an unsigned reference exception thruster unassigned reference exception was thrown. So I'm in activate thrusters inside my engine and I'm getting this unassigned reference exception from my thruster. Well, where's thruster defined? It's another serialized field. So it looks like there's another instance where I expected something to be assigned in the inspector that wasn't assigned. So let me stop that, go back out into Unity, stop it here. And so on my player ship, I've got two engines. Uh, well, the thruster's assigned on that engine, but up oh, there's the problem. I didn't assign the thruster on that engine. So let's go ahead and drag that thruster in there. I'm going to just go ahead and hit play this time. Okay, so I'm running. Oh, I can thrust forward. I can roll. I can pitch. I can yaw. I can still fire. Okay, so it looks like we fixed all of our errors. There's no errors being reported in the console. So that was an example of how you can use the debugger from JetBrains Rider to diagnose and fix problems. Now I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing using Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I've gone in here and I've gone into my preferences and I changed my external script editor to Visual Studio Code. I figure if you're still watching this video, you're already using Visual Studio Code. And I've introduced a different bug. So instead of having an unassigned reference, I have a functional issue now. So if I press my forward stick forward, it's pulling the stick back. And so instead of pitching down when I push forward and pitching up when I pull back, it's doing the opposite. So I need to figure out why that's happening. So first of all, I'm going to click on my player ship and I'm going to click on the ship controller here. And now because I have set up Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we've opened up my project in Visual Studio Code since we have switched to the Visual Studio Code editor. I'm assuming if you're already doing development in Unity with Visual Studio Code that you've already installed the Unity extension from the marketplace and you've got everything configured correctly to be able to use Visual Studio Code as your editor. Now, we know that the problem was in our pitch. And so down here in fixed update, this is where we do our torque, roll, and yaw. Uh, what well, we do our pitch, roll, and yaw. And this is probably the line where the error is happening. So I'm just going to add a breakpoint here by selecting that line and clicking F9. Now, if you go up here to run, you'll see there's an option to start debugging. I could also just click F5. And you can see here that for run and debug, it says attach to Unity. So we can just click that. And we switch over here to Unity and click play. We should hit our breakpoint as soon as I try and pitch. So I've got my controller and I'm going to push my stick forward. And there you can see we have hit a breakpoint in Visual Studio Code. And so looking at this, you can see that I'm adding torque to my transform.write times pitch force, which is just on my ship's data. That's the amount of force that gets applied when he pitches. And then pitch amount, it's currently negative 
0.3 and this is just scaling it by fixed delta time so this is the problem here this should be a positive amount if I'm pitching forward I want to pitch in a positive direction so where is pitch amount coming from well in update I'm grabbing pitch amount from the movement input now movement input is an interface but I can see who's implementing that interface by going to implementations in here in my gamepad movement controls pitch amount is calculated as the gamepads right stick Y times negative one so this is the culprit right here so I'm gonna double click to go to that line so I'm going to stop debugging and I'm just going to go back into Unity and stop playing. And I'm going to fix this error right here on this line of code. I'm just going to get rid of this multiplying by negative one. I'm going to jump back out into Unity, let it recompile. And I'm going to hit play. And now if I push the stick forward, I'm pitching down. If I pull it back, I'm pitching up. So we fixed that bug as well. So I hope you found that informative and instructive. If you did, do me a favor and click the like and subscribe button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I do want to get this content in front of as many people as possible just to share this knowledge. If you have any questions or comments about what I've shared, go to my Discord server. I'll put a link in the description. You can post comments and questions there and I'll be sure to get back to them. And be sure to check out my Highland Panic game. It's available for the PC on Steam and also for the iPhone and Android. There are links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.